Uh, Link, what are you doing? Put, 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 put the bomb away. No, no, no put it. Put, 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 there we go. That was an accident. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to more Skyward Sword. I'm J for the Gamers UK. We're in part 54. We're now we're going to enter none other than the next temple. Now, like I was saying before, this one is kind of interesting. I mean, like I say, it's it's kind of like a second fire dungeon. You know, we had the, we had the second slash sort of foresty sort of temple, although um, that one was kind of like a um, how to describe it really like uh, well, it's kind of like a temp like an actual temple or a palace inside, you know, rather than actual like just foresty architecture all around. Um, this place is literally just another fire area. <laughs> But with digging, pretty much. So, all right. So now these fruits here, actually. Um, oh, excuse me. I just need to cough for a second. Excuse me. I might edit that out. But um, yeah, these fruits. Um, apparently, they can thrive in this heat, and that they're so cold. Let me uh just. I'll just use my beetle. Apparently they're so cold that um, if you hit one of them and they drop, they create a platform. I'm sure you've seen this. Many Zelda, you know, Zelda uh, fans may have, uh, you know, know this sort of thing. It's like in Wind Waker as well and stuff. So, yeah, common stuff. Um, can I get some more arrows or something? I've got a heart. So desperately need a heart. All right. What's in here? Oh, fairy. Can I... Can I pick it up? I can never pick these up. There we go. <laughs> Why not? It helps when you can target, that's for sure. Alright, so here's another one. And you're probably guessing I'm going to be doing this a lot. Yes. I think some sort of returning things from like the last fire one we did. Um, we need to go around, don't we? Yeah. Um, I don't have any arrows, so I'm just going to put my shield up. <laughs> Come get me! Come get me! I'll try again. <laughs> that guy just missed. Again, you can pick these arrows up if they're uh, near you. Um, they just missed. All right. That'd be that'd be some that'd be some shit if that guy just like knocked me into the lava. I would be so unhappy. <laughs> just be like, no. You know, well, as soon as I jump off, he just hits me in midair. That'd be styling, that's for sure. But no, <laughs> no. Calm down in the lava. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. Boof, boof, boof. Know what's going on now? Awesome. I, I, I was saying before, I believe, from the part previous. Uh, I don't mind this dungeon. It's not that bad. Um, you know, a couple of puzzles here and there. Oh, hey, it's one of those mogs, mog, mog, mog mogmas. Ho ho! Ah, the exit at last. It looks like an old one, like an old Mogma, like maybe a father one or something. Whoa! Don't scare me like that. I thought you were one of those monster creeps. No. They always say that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hey, what's this? You got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't you? I do. Who are you, anyway? What you doing here? I'm on a quest. Yeah. Hmm, I get you. Huh? Me? Oh, yeah, the name's Gold. I'm the big boss of the Mogmas. There you go. Those digging mitts. Those digging mitts. Excuse me. You got right there. I invented them. I see. Oh, he seems pretty pleased. No offense, pal, but you don't look like the kind of guy I'd send in here on a treasure hunting mission. But what do I know? You might just surprise me. Where there is treasure, there are Mogmas. So here's the deal. Where in the tunnels there are hu there's a huge treasure hidden in these uh, here ruins. But nobody who's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. Countless treasures... Yeah. Oh my god, I can't get my words out today. Countless treasure hunters have disappeared in here. Poof, gone. As a treasure digger, I gotta warn you to just, you know, turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you. I'm not really here for 
to dig, not really. I'm just kind of here, you know, because I need a flame, so. Well, you're going to do this no matter what I say, aren't you? <laughs> dot, 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 Leek decides, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Pretty much. Alright then, I'm going to let you in on an ancient treasure hunting legend passed down among generation of Mogmas. Is that so? Every Mogma worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. Ye who seek the entrance to the king's treasure, look for the two statues that face one another. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this and the path will be open to you, or open before you. You remember all that and you're golden. Say it again! <laughs> Some of my guys are... That's like uh, Bora Kabura. The owl and he's like, did you get what I said? And it hovers over yes, and you click yes, but you think it's no, and you're like, ah! It repeats all over again. <laughs> Some of my guys are searching around here for the treasure. If we get lost, just holler at one of them. Peace, bro. Peace. You feel me, bro? <laughs> Alright, now we got the key, so let's go in. So yeah, uh, we want to remember that. We do. We wanna, there's a bit where you do have to do some skydiving. I think it might be like the first time we actually had to kind of do skydiving in a temple. Um, I think I could be wrong. Someone can correct me. But um, yeah. Little overview of the outside. We'll be kind of going in and out, in and out, in and out. So, I mean, there's the boss room. But we're not like nowhere near it yet anyway. So, yes. Ah, uh, here we go. I think I was mentioned this before. They start throwing the uh, these uh, these dark pieces. I should have examined them to see what they till they actually come up as. And of course, you'd expect they sometimes drop an evil crystal. You know, these are in like Ocarina, Wind Waker. Um, well, not them specifically, but you know, like those they immobilize you. That's pretty much what happens. But they completely immobilize you. Okay. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna get me there. Too bad. Oh, ow. Alright, you got me there. I was gonna shield, but I didn't. There we go. I should really just be patient. I mean, obviously, they don't, you know, they don't want you to be like, go crazy, but, you know, nobody got time for that with the old and Wii motion control and stuff, you know. Um, I wanna go down here yet? No, I don't think so, but I'm just gonna have a quick look. Okay, I can't go down here yet. And, well, I can, but, you know. Now this, now uh, this kind of, I, I was like, what the hell is that down there? Before I go up, I already go up here. Um, I think I do need to go down there first anyway, but, um, yeah, I was looking at I was like, what the hell? Ah, yeah, I do, I do, I do, cool. I think there's 20 rupees in here. Normally, yeah, there you go. More money, more money, more money. That's what we like to see. Man, Link is Link is like the richest person in Hyrule, for sure. Right now, of course, it's gonna come after you. So run on top of this platform, and then random lava hand. Yeah, it helps us out, but he's not trying to. We'll come back to him. Yeah, I was kind of like, you know, you know what? What would have been really cool, in in my opinion, what have been what would have been really really cool, really really cool. Is if that was like a giant, like, you know, a giant magma monster and Link had to fight it. I would like that. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. In my opinion. You know, like you, like, you know, I don't know. You have to avoid the hand all this time and then you go to one bit where, like, you know, you see the, you see the hand and you see two more hands and you're like, oh crap. And then you find out it's actually like this giant lava monster golem thing underneath. That would be awesome. Unfortunately, that's not what it is. <laughs> it's just a hand. It's kind of disappointing, to be honest. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, please don't tell me there's some of the arrows. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, man, there was. Come on in. Can I... Ah. Oh. I thought, can I pick, can I pick the uh, thingy up? Oh, I got, oh, I picked up enough arrows, I didn't realise. One more on. Oh man, my hand is not steady at all. Oh, it's in me, it's in me. Okay, no, it hasn't. There we go. There we go. Yeah, my, my, um... Oh, I need the, uh, cl cl the, the, the hook shot. It's the same damn thing. Uh, there we go. Do I just drop down? Yeah. 
I don't know why I'm forgetting so easily. I mean, <laughs> I've um, what was it? I didn't do this that long ago. Do 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 do. do. Well, anyway, um, let's go in here. There's um, I'd like to say there's kind of a few mini bosses to be honest. This one is kind of the mini boss of the dungeon. Yeah, it's just a it's just a stronger version of the Lazar Force. Let's. Well, we really went in there. Let's bring him out to the light. Well, hello, camera. What have we got? Dark Lazar Force. Now, if he spews his breath, it's actually like that dark stuff. So he will immobilize you. Watch out for that. But he is essentially the same Lazar Force. You know, just. Swipe in the opposite direction to to where he's got his you know his armor on. He'll he'll go he'll go all crazy thinking he's a badass, you know, dodging you and then just go to town. It's just you know it just takes more hits, but he essentially does the same thing. Um, just don't give him a chance to use the breath. He didn't even use it on me at all, you know. I think he hits a bit harder as well, but you know. Oops. Oops. Left. There we go. Oh. What? There we go. See, that's it. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Disappointing. But I guess if you had the class one mini boss, I guess that kind of is, because it has the mini boss music, but you know, it's just a slightly stronger Lazal Force, you know? You think if it was a fire temple, it'd be something a uh, you know, a bit stronger, but no, no. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we can't do anything about that yet. Anyway, let's go in here. So, yeah, kind of disappointing. What can you do? Ah, uh, we got more of this. And we got those stupid creatures that spewed out darkness stuff as well. So, I think I'm going to get my bombs ready. My bombs. I've only got two. Uh, should be alright, he says. I think I can throw arrows at them as well. Nice. Oh, there's a cup. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dark keys. Wait. That's cool. Um, yeah, I think I can use my arrows. Wait. There you go. Sweet. Right, now we need to um, use the beetle. Pick up some bombs. Now, we can't do that yet because um, basically um, there's no flow of lava. So we can pick up some rupees as we go. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. Um, grab that and then make a U turn and go all the way all around. Don't go in the green light, otherwise that will reset. Actually, I don't know if it resets with the bomb though. And you want to hit the mouth like that. My Wii remote was going a bit funny there, but there you go. If you don't hit the mouth, it won't count. Like I found out in the test recording. So yeah. Alright. I think that's it. Um, well, I can take those guys out. I guess. So, that, 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 and the keys. Skip my arrows. Snipe them. <laughs> this is like the wall link. Ow. Good job I didn't get no knockback. Uh, there we go. Ooh, oh man, I was nearly off the edge. Uh, you can use arrow. You can pretty much use anything. I think you can use the slingshot if you want. You just hit it down with anything. If you want to save on arrows, use your beetle. Can't go wrong. I think there's just more rupees up there. I'm not going to bother. Go nuts if you want, but um, yeah. There we go. Oh, we need keys, so we have to go this way. Oh, hey, it's another one of those dudes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at that. That stuff looks hot. I wouldn't mind a little hot bath on my sore sh shoulders, but this is too much. W what have we got? Another new guard? Ha! You can't break me with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost. Shoo now. Well, that's not very nice. let Ah! Oh! That does actually go through them. Yeah, it does. Well, it looks like you're not going to get hurt, so... <laughs> You'll be... F Whoa. Whoa. 
What? My Wii remote is going mad. Shall we try that again? What? what? Hang on a second. Um, what is going on there? That's weird. Let me try that again. Reset? No. What? What is that? I'm so confused. Right. I think it's doing it now, guys. I think it's doing it. Now, apparently the Gus Bellows, I didn't realise, is also another thing that's so cold. It can, uh... Get rid of, uh... Molten Lava. Magma. Yeah. I mean, I know it's strong winds and stuff, but I didn't know it was that... Sh you know, I didn't know it was that, um... Oh, I like that. You, you do actually see, like... A little... You know, fire mark. <laughs> but um, yeah, apparently the the Gus Bellows can uh, do that. Did not know that. And it's a little bit sad. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just to make it feel useful, you know. There's also uh, there's also like a little thing you can do. You can actually clean someone's house. <laughs> I don't know if I shoot that off, but um, I don't think you get anything apart from rupees. I'm pretty certain. It. What? What the hell? I was like, what was that? Do I need that? No. I probably will do, but not yet. Anyway, um... Yeah, so sorry, I got the key. we got to leave him for a bit. And, uh, go into the other room. Kind of got to make our way round. There we are. But, um, yeah, this... I don't think you get anything for it. But I think it's like Pippet's mum or something. I'll show that off maybe when I go back, because I don't think I'll shoot that off. It's just sort of like, basically, she just doesn't clean her house. Um, I don't know if she can or can't, or she's just really that untidy, but Pippet is moaning about her. Um, and you go in, and I think you help her, but um, yeah, you have to cut these down, because these do actually hurt you, if you touch them. So. But um, yeah, he, uh, I think, like, once you've cleaned his house... He's like waiting outside and he's like, oh, if you help my mother, and I think he's like, oh, you shouldn't bother helping her or something, because, you know, she'll only get it dirty again and all this and that and whatnot. And I'm like, you're, kind of, you're a little bit rude to your mother, aren't you, really, to be honest? But, you know, I mean, I, 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 I get it. <laughs> you know, like, um, I guess she just doesn't keep the place tidy and it's just annoying, you know? She's not a hoarder. <laughs> It's just, you just go in the house because it's really dusty. So, yeah. How clean is your house? High Water, Zelda edition. <laughs> Skyward Sword, Zelda edition. How clean is your house? Mm -hmm. I think that's another 20 rupees in that. I didn't bother getting it on the test thingy. You can get it if you want. But, um, yeah. They normally are. Oh, man, it's only 20 minutes already. Um, if I can get to a save point... Um, then maybe I'll call it there. If not, I'll just kind of cut it and then carry on. Because I'm going to be doing the temple. I'm going to... Sorry. I'm going to finish the temple in this recording session, that's for sure. So... I call it a session as in, you know, I'm going to, like, record a bulk sort of thing. Rather than, you know, this is the first part. This is part 54, and then the next bit of it. And then I'll say, you know, this is the... This is the, uh the next one. Anyway, what you need to do here is, you can either stab through here and grab that, or you can grab one of the other ones, and then you remember what you, with the old water? Toss it. Like so. Because we can stab things. <laughs> kind of, kind of it makes me uh, think about the um, his, his CDI games where you like stab everyone to talk to everyone. It's like every time Link is hurting someone. You know. It's just like, okay, it's just funny. I think it was like that for like uh, Zelda 2 as well, I think. Um, I haven't played it, I've only like seen bits and bobs of it, so... Oh, hello. Uh, hello. And another one. Every... every oh, we have a crystal. And dead. And dead, no. Go! Ah, oh, I wanted it, I wanted it. Oh well. Ow. Brood. <laughs> oh, the heart. Never mind. 
As I say, the hearts. Oh, there you go. Safe point. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, that, that'll actually take you upside, which is kind of handy. But, um. Yeah. Alright, there, guys. I'll, I'll leave it there for now. And uh, that'll do for uh, this part, part 54. And join me for the next part, which I'll be doing shortly. Well, you won't see it straight away, of course, but, you know. Um, join me for the next part where we uh, continue this uh, temple. Till then, guys. Take care.